Hey guys, thank you so much for joining in. Guys, in previous two videos, you have learned how to add a contact form or query form on your WordPress website using contact form 7. And we also discussed if somebody is trying to fill the form, then how you can, you know, receive their details on your email ID, as well as if somebody is filling the details, then the user will also get a acknowledgement email or a confirmation email on his or her email ID. So these two steps we have already discussed in our previous videos if you haven't seen those videos please go and check it out so that you can understand this video as well now in this video we will understand instead of receiving the details which users are filling on your email if you want to directly store them inside your WordPress dashboard then what is the process and but let's discuss why is it required because sometimes if let's say lead flow is uh, you know high on your website so it becomes very difficult to go to the email id and check one by one email and take out the details from there so it becomes very hectic so in order to make this process easier what we can do we can directly install a plugin and save the entire or save all the inquiries on our wordpress dashboard directly so that whenever somebody is filling up the form the details are visible in the dashboard itself and we are not supposed to check out the mails again and again so in order to perform this functionality we need to perform three steps the step number one we will install a plugin step number two we will see and configure the plugin and step number three we will test the plugin so in order to install the plugin what we need to do is we need to go to plugins and click on add new so there is an extension plugin for contact form 7 that is called cf7db cf7db means database so whatever details are submitted on contact form 7 that would be stored inside the database so here is the plugins contact form 7 database add-on cfdb7 so just click on this plugin by clicking on install option and once the installation is done, you will click on activate now. So once the installation process is done, we will simply activate the plugin. So this is our step number one completed. Go to step number two, that is to see the settings and to configure this plugin. So we'll see contact form seven uh, database add on. So we will go to the submissions. So once you click on submission, you can see the list of all the inquiries that you know are received till now. So after installing this plugin, there is no inquiry. That's why the count is zero and the name of the form is there. So for each and every form, the inquiry count will be different. The details will be different. So here, this particular form does not have any inquiry so far. So let's go to the form and let's fill out couple of inquiries so that this particular form will have data. So we'll say Rahul demo demo at the rate gmail dot com enter your mobile number let's say i enter this and then the message so let's submit this form it is done go back to the dashboard to check refresh the page and you can see the details are there and if you want to see from scratch you can see contact forms click on this and you can see the form name and the count is one because it has received the one inquiry and same inquiry is also sent on the email id so if you see here the email id is also the, the email ID has also received the email of the inquiry. So if you click on this, now you can see the detail of the user that is name, email, mobile, message and the date when this was received. If you want to export this, you can simply select all the details and then you can, you know, export the CSV or you can export all the details in CSV format like this and the data will be downloaded so there is no need to check the email again and again whenever there is a email submission or email id submission let's say let's say that if we want to create a new form let's say if we want to create a new form so let's just duplicate this form so that just for testing and we will say contact us form 2 let's say right click on save and let's configure this copy the short code edit with elementor why am i doing this just to showcase that if you have multiple forms and both the forms are filled then the inquiries will be received differently so here i will just drag and drop short short code and paste the short code here so now there are two forms one and two the right one is one and the left one is two now let's go to the preview and now let's fix fill this all uh, uh, also so i will say rahul2 right so we'll say rahul2 at the rate gmail.com enter mobile number 
done and we will say demo 2 now let's submit this form it is done now let's see in the database option if we have received the form inquiries or not yes so now you can see as soon as we created a new form the form is visible the count is one and if you click on this you will see the rahul2 2, 2 at the rate gmail.com and all these inquiries so that's how you can you know receive and store all the inquiries that are coming from your contact form 7 you know query forms on your wordpress dashboard directly and you are not supposed to go to and check the email again and again so that's how you can save your time effort and streamline the entire process and the biggest advantage you can export entire data in csv format and you can use that so guys that's it for this video i hope you liked the video and if you did you know the drill you need to like this video subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon so that you get notified every time whenever we upload a new video on our channel thank you so much i'll catch you in the next video take care